Welcome to Done Deal. There we go. Now we got some video. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I uh, I had to uh, I had to feed my fat fucking face because I was hungry. Actually, the uh, truth was I was switching broadcasts, so we needed a couple minutes in there. Thanks for your patience. Hi, everybody. Yes, what's going on, everybody? Oh, what a day. So, what's yeah. going on? Uh, I saw you were doing vape cam. I didn't get a chance to watch anything. Yeah, anything no, no, exciting? you were busy, of course, with Mod Envy. Well, it was really cool, actually. Uh, usually, we air True North at the time uh, before our show on Vape Strong on Saturday nights. Tonight, right. uh, one of the one of the stars of True North is traveling. He's uh, on his way home from vacation. That's Corey. And Katz is at Vape Can in Toronto. So she joined us live from location. And we basically had an online cross-Canada national vape meet, uh, people coming and going, and just a rotating camera and lots of fun for the last three hours. So yeah, that's been it's been a really good time. I want to know gossip, gossip, any gossip, any gossip? Uh, well, uh, it's it's uh, 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 you you know me, Joe. I'm I'm inclined to say that Canadians don't uh, kiss and tell, or, or in this case, vape and tell. But uh, I, I know uh, Katz has been uh, kissing all the boys. It seems so. Uh, yeah, Whoa. yeah. Pixie says there's a lot of kissing going on. Uh, we had a great uh, interview toward the end with Phil Bissardo. She had Zen on for a chat, so we'll be uh, uploading the, the recording of that show in the near future. Stay tuned oh, to Facebook. Cool. We'll let you know where to find it. Lots of uh, okay. participants from Vape Can were able to jump on with cats and have a chat. We had Kriegs on location. And, and forgive me if I'm forgetting anybody, there was so, so many people coming and going throughout the day, and... Uh, it was a, a good time. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And what is new with you this week? Well, I was lucky to pick up a cyborg today. I'm very excited. They sold out in eight minutes. Um, I picked up a brass cyborg with dual extension rings, so it allows me to use an 18650. It cost me uh, $200, and... Um, it so goes against my better nature to buy a mod of this uh, this uh, this expensive, but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I, I may uh, I may give this away um, for um, Vapor Joe's one year anniversary, uh, or I may keep it. Uh, either way, I'm going to give away a really nice high end mod for Vapor Joe's one year, but. I may it may be the cyborg or it may be um, something else. I tried to get a gold plated Pro Vary. Uh, they don't do that anymore. Um, uh, there was a couple others that I was looking at, and uh, so it's coming. It's coming. John, you Johnny, time for Joe to get into RBAs. Well, here's a little secret for you. Joe has plenty of RBAs. He just doesn't use them. He's saving them all for the vape apocalypse. Yeah, I have a box. I have probably more rebuildables than. Than most than most rebuilt junkies, I buy one of all of them that come out. It's kind of like a collection. I keep them neatly in this big crate next to my MREs and and um, and um, Temco wire and Wick and I got Eco Wall. I got it all. It's all ready, ready to go. It's just I haven't touched it yet. I keep telling him that that we're going to get eventually. Resistance is futile. So <laughs> she will assimilate. Um, so, so we hit uh, 800 today in Monavi. Uh Incredible number. It's a, again another big record for us. Um, we had uh, Vape Girl on. She, you know, having issues with her with her camera, but so that that was a lot of fun. So that was part of my day. Ty uh, Monster. I don't understand. Did I did I do something to the broadcast? I think I think everything's running right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Twisted. <laughs> Telling you, I have to sit in the dark with the way you folks talk. Otherwise, you'd see me blushing. <clears throat> She'd see now. This is where I'm getting her. See, she didn't always sit in the dark. This is what this is what being part of Vapor Joe's does to you. It makes you sit in the dark and look at a computer 24/7, trying to find deals. This is what it does to you. Except she she holds her composure well. She still looks pretty and, and still showers and has her hair and. Um, 
Well, actually, what it is is I don't have green screen or a nice backdrop behind me. What's behind me is a shelf and there's a table and my kitchen and, you know, it just looks so busy. So if I dim the lights and just go by the computer screens and a little bit of lighting here, it's, uh, it's a, a, better, a better thing. <clears throat> so, we're all here for deals, obviously. Um, I'm going to be fetching the deals tonight for, uh, for everybody. Uh, normally, um, Tiger will uh, do it too, but you know what? Tiger needs a break tonight because Tiger has been broadcasting all day. So if there's any fuck-ups, blame me. Well, not all day, but uh, for, the last, for the last three hours we've had the live vape cam. So I've been uh, playing, playing half mommy, half broadcaster, and uh, managed to keep most of the balls in the air. So. Mm, she said balls. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> So, so, what was the big deal this week, Joe? Done what deal, big, what was it? The, the biggest deal this, this week? The biggest deal! Oh, the Russian. The Russian the was the biggest Russian. deal. But the Russian is no... You can't buy it now, so we can't really bring it up. But the Russian was the biggest the biggest deal this week. We'll talk about it. Uh, Vaportech USA had the Russian 91. He uh, sold it for $65, I think it was. Um, In that he sold, neighborhood, yeah. He sold uh, 450 of these things. Uh... I would say he sold out of the 450, like 380 of them came from um, from my site. Uh, it was a crazy, insane. Um, he, uh, John, he's he's a he's a, he's a crazy guy. Um, he 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 takes a lot of risks, and uh, he's and he's rewarded because of them because he get he gets um, he gets uh, a lot of the pre-orders and he gets them out cheap. Um, if you missed it, I'm sorry. It'll be around two. But he's not going to be able to sell it for the, the cheap price that he did before. I think it has to go to eighty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, they weren't they, they weren't going to um, to allow him to do a second round if he chose to stick to the to the to the sixty-dollar cost. So he's got to raise the price. Now I can give you the link for that. Uh, someone was asking uh, right, Garden let me get it. State Vape, but. Um, the one issue is, as Joe said, that pre-order is closed. I think so. I think he's out of stock on them, but I'll put them in oh. just for so you guys can see. Okay, got it. Good. This is a really special one because this is one of the rare occasions where uh, you're you're aware the Russian is a clone of the Kfun Light. Um, this is one of the rare occasions where people are saying that the clone exceeds the performance of the original. So that's a lot to be said. We will have yeah. to wait and see, and I'm pretty excited to find out. A lot of us watch Todd's reviews. Uh, I've been trying to get that guy on Mod Envy, and he doesn't like to go on camera. But um, I a watch his reviews. A reviewer who doesn't like to go on camera? What? I know. It's strange. Um, but I watched his review, and Todd gave it glowing, glowing uh, remarks. And uh, he said it's better than the K-Fun due to the airflow um, adjustability. And that's it's, the key. It's got that adjustable airflow. So. And there is a Russian. Uh, it's called the DIY. It's coming. Um, it is a Russian version of a dripper. The dripper is actually going to cost more than the tank, which makes no sense to me, but it it, it will. Um, you're about six weeks out on uh, on it, so you'll probably see pre-orders three weeks from now. Figure three more weeks uh, to to. To, uh, go time so figure about three more weeks you're gonna start seeing uh, Bucky's gearing up for for um, for uh, co-ops at least and vapor tech will have them and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll have them up on my site and um, it's uh, it's really really cool now I'm just seeing Rick is King's comments there he just ordered a K fun light and um, he's he's saying he's sad now don't be sad. I mean, um, I'm knowing a lot of people right now who are just loving their K-Funds. So it's not a bad purchase you've made from what I'm hearing. Um, just different strokes. There's going to be people who still prefer the K-Fund to, uh, to the Russian. And it comes down to pretty much like everything in vaping. It's going to be subjective. Different people are going to have a different opinion. So... Right. Um, again, with the minimum order, uh, I find minimum uh, minimum orders to be absolute utter bullshit. Um, and the reason why I find minimum orders bullshit is because only in America and the UK do they require that. In, in China, they don't. Uh, they say they do, but they don't. 
they don't um, they don't stop them from selling it. They just kind of go, oh, they're nah, 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 and they still let them sell it. So they only force the Americans to pay more, and the, and of course the UK and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't really, I don't really, uh, I will try uh, my hardest to always circumvent um, minimum price standards. Um, and if I can, well, I'm going to do it. And if it's, you know nobody likes it, fuck them, because I'm going to continue to do it. Um, as far as um, do you know where the Russian 91 is being made, Joe? Is is? Um, I, it's not China. At least I don't think it's China. It, is the it's, name actually a hint, or is that just a? Um, no, it's. I was talking to to to, uh, to John about this, and he said, uh, "Yeah, all right. It's. I I thought it was Germany. Okay. I thought, but now okay. somebody's saying it's built in China. Um, I heard it was Germany, but." Regardless, uh, it's it's amazing build quality. So if it's coming out of China, that just goes to show you that China can step up and uh, and make really good stuff. So. Well, to be fair, they really, really have been improving their game. I mean, some of the things that we're seeing, you know, even on Fast Tech that you and I talk about every day are uh, are good indications of that. I mean, another another case in point are the are the twists that we're seeing lately. You couldn't say enough nice about them. Ego right, a lot of people. A lot of people are saying China. If, if it is China, well, great. You know, if, if they can get that quality out of China, I can't wait to see what's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, this week uh, a lot more mods came out. Um, from uh, Fast Tech has a shit ton of mods, and a bunch of other vendors have a whole bunch of mods. Um, there's a new mod coming out. It's called the Bicycle. It's called the Silver Dragon. Uh. It looks super, super nice. Let me let me pull that up. Uh, it's up on my website. Third post, I believe. Okay, let's have a look. See. Yeah. It's called the Silver Dragon. Again, this is a uh, this is a pre-order. Um, we'll get to we'll get to the KMAX. Um, this is called the Silver Dragon. Uh, it, it looks really nice. Uh, Twenty-seven dollars at one one vape dot com. Um, really, really um, inexpensive. Again, we're we're into the decal, lasering, um, engraving of mods. Uh, we've stepped away from uh, the standard. Uh, a lot of the mods are starting to look the same, but now with different engravings. I still think that the mix and the brass are the uh, golden childs of the summer. Uh, I think everybody has noticed uh, like the private V1s and the M16s and the Grand Vaping and the uh, Sentinels, all that are, are still I think the, uh, the the summer boom, but this mod looks really nice. I'm not sure about the lip. That's the only thing I'm not <clears throat> really understanding. You, you, you see what I'm talking about, right Tiger? The, the lip at the top, you mean that edge, that flange around the yeah. top? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's different. It's different. I, I don't know. I. You're gonna have to see it with an atomizer on it. I'm having a little trouble envisioning, but uh, I sure do like the etching on it. I mean, it, that's just pink. See if I can. I'm just gonna roll this. It'll look a little funny, but I'm just gonna scroll this by. You can get an idea of the. Uh... The button is a bot. Somebody asking where the button is. The button's on the bottom. It's actually called a hidden button. It looks like it's a bottom, of course, bottom firing button looks nice um and to be fair the last picture shows the button better so now that we've seen the dragon i'll go back and you can get a sense of how that button is it's recessed in there again made by um made by sigeli uh, and you know sigeli's they're new believe it or not you know in terms of, of companies they're they're pretty new and they jumped into um the uh, mod market like balls deep there's jumped right in. You know what I mean? And uh, I think they have now uh, 50 different mechanicals. Oh, gosh. You'd have a better idea than me. Lots. Yeah. Just just lots. <laughs> I, I remember I did a post of, at the time, all their mechanicals, they were at 38. And uh, now I think they're up to 50. Some of them are kind of dumb. Like, they look. one looks like the bolt, you know, then another one just has, like, a minor change from the one before it. But, yeah, but, pretty subtle. So, yeah, subtle changes, but... So that's a that's a nice mod, and then um, I think uh, let me let me scooch over to Tiger's page real fast. Um, 
Now, oh, here we go. I mean, can, can you beat this right here? Incredible. The M16 for, what is it, $11? Oh, I know. Isn't that crazy? Let's there we see go. see if we can bring that one up, too. The eleven, the eleven dollar M16. I mean, really? We're talking. I mean, I remember when a box of cardamizers um, cost eight bucks. Um, eleven dollars and fifty four cents uh, at Fast Tech. Uh, Tiger sniffed that one out long before I did, and um, she uh, she put that up real fast. I have an M16. I also have a private V2. Uh, I own them both. They're both solid mods. Um, these do have the aluminum connector, um, so you got to um, be careful. Tiger has a little trick for all this. Uh, with the, you're you're talking about the aluminum threading. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some of you have seen this. I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but for those who haven't, I'm going to save your mod. Um, the aluminum heads on some of the Sentinels, including the M16, including the original Sentinel clone, the, the stripey one, it's got an aluminum head where your threading is. Aluminum is a soft metal. Don't kill it. There's no need to torque this down. What I do is I seat it and then turn backwards until you feel it click in. The threads will click and then you know you're in the right spot. That's when you start turning. Tighten it up. Don't over tighten. As soon as it stops turning with very light pressure, you're good. You're good. Stop right there. Exactly, Vape and Chevy. Don't tighten it down. You will strip the threads. Um, as long as it's making contact, you're good. And it's th because it's aluminum, it's easy to damage them by over tightening. It's easy to over damage them or damage them by cross threading. So basically, don't do that. <laughs> if you want a mod, you can manhandle. Don't opt for the aluminum ones. Go for the brass yeah, version. Go full full brass. And they've had quite a few full brass mods. And I want to explain something. Somebody's asking, well, you know, eleven dollars. We protect it for twenty-five. Understand the general advantage that China has over over uh, any vendor outside of China. Not just that they're they're in house being made. There's a shipping when you buy a mod from uh, a manufacturer in China, like um, just say I don't know, I'm going to order 400 uh, mechanicals. Each mechanical is charged a shipping price on top of every mechanical has a shipping price built into it. It could be a dollar, it could be two dollars. So they'll quote you at oh it's twelve dollars for the mechanical. Now there's a two dollar shipping charge per mechanical. So that's 14 my cost. And now I have to make some money. So I'm going to charge, you know, if I want to be uh, cheap about it, charging $25 isn't so bad. I'm making less than 100%. Uh, some people charge 40 But just remember, that's the advantage they have. Uh, they don't have to pay any shipping. And that's why they can sell it so cheap. Uh... The Enzonic head they're talking about, Joe, will fit on the M16, and if I'm not incorrect here, I think that means by extension it will fit the 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 ringed Sentinels as well. So that's kind of. Well, you neat. have it. Do you have it? Don't you have an Enzonic head? I do. I just was trying to be lazy and not take it apart. But all right, all right, all right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, they're saying yes, it does. Are you going to save me taking it apart? I already started, so now I'm curious. I'm going to... I want to see what this thing looks like. All right, all right. Well, you're going to see in about two seconds, because I'm going to... Because that could, that could be a post for one we're, of us. We're uh, doing a mad scientist thing here. I'm going to trade... Okay, well, you know what? I don't know which ones you have, but this is the Sentinel. This is the Ensonic head. I've already got the T2 attached to it, and it's loose. It'll just drop in. So it's not working for me, but... Apparently, it worked for somebody. Maybe it works on the Grand or the... Um... Maybe the M16 is a different animal from the... Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, I don't have an M16 here to compare with. Sorry. I thought I had an Enzonic head floating around. I have the private V2 and the M16, but I do not have an Enzonic head, so... Okay. I'll get a couple we'll try it out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, 50, uh, $12. Free shipping. Buy ten of them for Christ's sake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, a br you could start a brick and mortar just selling this. You know what I mean? To, to even to buy these for eleven dollars and sell them for twenty two ninety nine in a brick and mortar, you're making a hundred percent profit. 
Uh, if if you could sell on eBay these things, oh my God, you'd make a killing. I mean, really, this is so cheap. And we're getting into almost giving away prices now. <laughs> Somebody said they're already on it. Um, all those all those um, mechanicals are do not have an adjustable head. All of them are unadjustable. Um, um, that's not strictly true, Joe. Uh, the Sentinel does have a floating pin. I'm going to pop it out and show you, in fact. The way it works, when you take that head off, there's a Delrin in there with the uh, with the contact, okay? Right. Okay. Now, um, if I push on this just a little bit, because I haven't seated mine in yet, some people are gluing them in place so that they don't do what I'm about to do. I just pushed on the pin from the 510 connector side and popped that oh. piece out. You can see on that pin, now I don't know if it's going to focus for us, let's see if it will. There is a spring on that though, I can depress that and move it in. So the, the Sentinel at the very least is actually a floating pin. And then to, oh. to reseat that I'm just setting that back into the inside and pushing that Delrin in. Okay, ta-da! Okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm in adjustable in the sense where you could turn a screw and set your... Okay, no, it's not settable. It's floating. It's got a spring. Cool. Very cool. Now, has there been... Having a spring-loaded head, uh, like the... Like the um, who started that? Um, the original, the old Lambos, and then the Tesla had that. Is there... Um, Vapor Joe, did you see the hybrid dripping mod for 20 bucks? No, I didn't. Not yet. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at it. Oh, you know what? I saw these on, um, I saw these, uh, Discount Vapors had these, um, I, I, I remember, I, I want, I don't, before I comment, I mean, I want to really investigate it, before, but making sure it's the, um, the, the one I'm thinking of, uh, I remember Discount Vapors had these, they discontinued them for some reason, um, something to do with the, op some kind of operational issue with it. It says V2. So I'm assuming it's an upgraded version, uh, but again, I don't want to say, Nick, don't buy those, they're bad, but um, I remember Discount Vapors had them and there was an issue, but I'll talk to AJ, the owner of Venerable Vaping, and ask him what is going on, because that's a really good price. Okay, back to the original uh, question. When that, when that pin depressed and there's juice that gets in there, can that fall into the battery connector? Yep, absolutely. So you want to make sure, you know, by all means, don't be using something leaky. If you're using a car door or something you're worried about leaking, I would strongly suggest a 510 adapter, a sealed 510 adapter in there. Okay, that because that's what I wanted to know. Those floating pins are beauty and a curse. The beauty in the sense they auto adjust for your for, for the atomizer's comfort, I guess. But if you push that pin too far down and you begin to drip, it's going to get into your into your, into your mod. Now that's not a big deal in a mechanical. But on something like a Tesla, which has happened to me, it gets all over the electronics. Yeah. And now you're going to have a sticky, gunked up uh, electric, uh, you know, all inside the, um, the uh, electronics. Yeah, nothing worse than being sticky and gunked up. <laughs> I concur. Okay. <laughs> Already a half hour in, Tiger. Can you believe this? Oh, working on Canada shipping right now. Yes, that's what I want to hear. Bravo. Now here is another uh, another item that just came from VaporTech um, called the Tech Tank. Now the Tech Tank is just like the Tatro Tank. Now what the hell is a Tatro Tank? Well, I'll show you the Tatro Tank because I have one. Oh, this okay, good. A, I don't have to bring up a picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the the tech tank is different. It looks different than this. But oh it's the yeah, same I'll principle. get that one. This is a Tatro tank. It is a full stainless steel. Hold that off so you can really see it. It's a full stainless steel um, Pro Tank. Uses a Pro Tank base. Um, what's the advantage of having a big beastly hunk of stainless steel as as your tank? Well, it's going to last forever. Two, it's gonna never, it's never gonna break. I mean, let's face it. You, you drop your mod with a pro tank, your pro tank doomed. It's it's gonna break. 
This uh, originally was going to be called the Silver Bullet, but since there's a mod called the Silver Bullet, uh, they changed it to the Tech Tank. These are specifically made for uh, for um, Vapor Tech, and it uses a Pro Tank bottom base, and it goes up into the stainless steel uh, cavity. And then there's a uh, drip tip that comes with it, and it's removable. Um, and it's a so, 510 drip tip, so you can replace it with your own mm -hmm. if you prefer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, well, the beauty of... I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The beauty of this is the Tatro tank is 40 bucks. That is 18 Now, it it's, looks pretty much like a Pro Tank. It's kind of beveled in the center. You really can't see it, but it kind of looks like a, a, a Pro Tank. But um, they look look really, really nice, and they're built like a brick shit house, from what I was told. Um... And I ordered four. <laughs> but, well, the timing on this is stellar. You showed me these pictures just hours after I was on Facebook. And uh, looking at someone's poor pro tank, it must have tipped over at work on their desk, and it snapped clean. Uh, some of the glass it looked like was still in the bottom. The rest was still attached to the top. And I imagine it was a nice juicy mess on their desk. But, I mean, I love Pyrex tanks. I, I really do. I like to see the level of my juice. I like to see what's in there. But there is definitely a time and place for this. Anywhere where you're, you know, it, it could be tipped over. Catastrophe could strike. This is a, this is a godsend. It is. It is. Um, but, yeah, like I said, that's why I bought four of them. Uh, of course, one's uh, going to make its way up to Canada. And... Uh, <laughs> Up into the we the, the 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 far corners of Canada to make its way to Tiger Tiger. The Vernon um, Fraser Valley. <laughs> but I, I I mean my Tatro tank I paid forty bucks for this. I love it. Um, it will last forever. It will outlive me. I'll be dead, and this thing will be you know still working. Hey, babe girl, welcome. Broke hey, your VV MTL blade. I am sorry to hear that. VV Noah snapped clean in half. Ouch. Yeah, well, you're you're gonna find the Pyrex is is more sturdy in some respects, in some ways than the than the plastics and the polycarbs. In other ways, you know, it's glass. You can't break it. So something like this, I de I defy you to try. <laughs> now, uh, you found a uh, a multimeter, I did. In, as you called it, an invaluable tool. It is an invaluable tool. Every vapor, in my opinion, needs a multimeter. Let me uh, bring that up for you, because uh, now, now to be fair, to be fair, Joe, let's be fair. I I had a little bit of help finding that no. uh, from my il illustrious partner in crime. There we go. This is a cool one, though, and th what attracted me to this is the little stand built right into the back. Um, you know, I don't know if the rest of you are as awkward as I am, but when you're testing stuff, you've got the leads in, in your hands, you've got whatever you're testing to, and you're juggling, and you're holding everything together, and you're trying to get those leads where they need to be, and then you're leaning over your desk to read the digital display because the sunlight's kind of bouncing off it, and you can't read it. This standing up, looking right at you, I love that yeah. idea. And the, so, for this price, yeah, and for this price, I've yeah. seen the, the really crappy ones for the same price. Like, they're just the shitty ones that you sell at Harbor Freight for, like, four bucks, you know, whatever. Okay. Um, well, this one comes in under ten bucks, ships free. So, right. uh, looks pretty good to me. I think that's a, that's a great yeah. little tool. And you need that. If you've got a mod that you are uh, checking your batteries and stuff like that, that's one of the things you really need to be doing. Uh, monitoring the health of your batteries. Don't let them go below 2.5 ever. If they do, they're finished. Um, you want to be taking them off at you know 3.5, I would suggest. Mine, I usually swap them out when they hit 3.7. The vape starts to drop off. You notice less vapor. It's time to switch batteries. Right. I like to test them coming off so I know what they're doing. And I like to test them coming off the charger too. Make sure they're coming off at 4.2. When you're monitoring your batteries that way, you know when they're starting to go. And you can avoid problems. There you go, Thai monster swaps at 3.9. Already by then the vape has dropped off and they're not enjoying it. So, right. And that's fine, and you can do that. Uh, the, the good batteries, the ones we're using, don't have a memory. There's no reason that you can't charge at 3.9. Go for it. 
Uh, Tiger, just to let you know, I am dropping your links in the room, so you don't have to do it twice. It's just oh, one last thing you need to do. My apologies, Joe. I didn't see... Yes, okay. You are, too. My apologies. Fled you with links. So, okay. So, I think, like Tiger said, every every vapor that is going... That's using a mod. If you're, if you're using a single mod, whether it's a 3.7, a mechanical, variable voltage, wattage, hybrid, get a multimeter. You'll find you'll, you'll use it more than you think. Um... To test batteries you know if you want to uh, you know my i can test my battery in my mod but if you're like well my mod says it's this well it seems to be funny take out the moan meter and you find out it's a little different so they're just good to have um okay so the next order of business we got lots of deals today lots tons of deals, deals came out. it's a big deal. um the k-max the k-max um the k-max is a new telescopic um, variable wattage from KDS, I think it is. KDS makes them. KSD. KSD. I was close. Well, you know, a little bit of dyslexia. Between now, the, cool, the cool thing about this particular uh, variable wattage is the screen. Now, the screen isn't your... T the screen is an old-school ZMAX screen. Um, it's, it just uses a digital display. But it's hidden. You can't see it until you turn it on. It's kind of like hidden behind like a, a fogged glass. So it's like the whole the whole top part just looks like a, you can't see anything. And all of a sudden, you hit the button and boom, the screen pops out of nowhere. It's really, really neat. So a little and like it, the EVIC idea where it's just black and right. you don't see anything until you fire it up. It's an LED display. It's like the old ZMAX and, uh, ZMAX and VMAX and ProBerry uh, styles. Um, hey, people have there's a huge huge post on if you go to fast tech in their discussion for full disclosure uh some guys saying these are fake um i don't think they're fake um i don't know many people out there faking k-maxes <laughs> you know what i mean the funny thing i'm finding is that a lot of vendors uh hiding in in, in buyer clothing is they're saying fast tech selling all these fakes the problem is, only Fast Tech seems to have these fakes. Like there's a, there's, they, they have a ten football field size plant making just fakes for Fast Tech, it because no, be. because no other vendor is getting the fakes. It just seems only Fast Tech is getting the fakes. How come American vendors aren't buying these super faked items and selling them? Because they don't exist. It's just vendors saying they're fakes because they don't want to lose money. Um. Fast Tech does make it a point to say when something's authentic and when it's not. When Fast Tech sells an EVOD, they call it an EVOD. When they sell a Kanger Pro Tank, they put authentic Kanger Pro Tank. So if they don't put the name in the title, there's a good chance um, it's not it's not the case. But um, these, uh, getting back to these, these are really neat. They're thirty-seven dollars. They uh, come in some really funky colors. I don't know if you looked at them. They got this like old tarnished brass version they have the of course um you know uh super shiny chrome and then they got this one here that's the gunmetal one everybody's everybody's just talking about how hot you are tiger sorry <laughs> <laughs> no one's paying attention to the Thank deal they're just like tiger's hot <laughs> there's a there's a oops there's a mod on screen <laughs> <laughs> Of course she's hot, but but you know, uh, you know, you know what? We're gonna just call this the Tiger Tiger Hour. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you like the music, John. You, Danny. I uh, I, I wasn't I wasn't so my my music pick for the earlier uh, show wasn't as it was a classic rock station. They didn't like you, whatever. You know, you mm. can't please everybody, right? So. <laughs> there's nothing sex. There's nothing sexier than a um than a girl that's good looking and has brains and that's uh, tiger all the way <laughs> vape girl i hear where you're coming from thank you appreciated <laughs> no there's no discounts <laughs> <laughs> no tiger if anything was full it's full price <laughs> there's no deal on tiger all right what else we got <laughs> <laughs> Well, we really never talked about this, but just real quick. Um, it's variable voltage, variable wattage, telescopic. 
Um, and it's a neat concept. Um, there's no uh, one button link. menus. Uh, here's here's the link again. Somebody asked for the link for it. It's there. There's no coupon code for Fast Tech. If you're shopping at Vapor Tech USA, use Vapor Joe six off, and you'll get um, you'll get um, six percent off your order. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Swoop's or... comment. <laughs> okay. What are we getting? That is, uh, I think, I think that buzzes you, Joe. You got You got You got a fly in the works or something there. I got a true bug in the works. A true bug. It does. It sounds like a little, yeah, a giant bee. So let's talk about. Um, Let's talk about you. You start. You you brought out the um. You brought up another another version of well, another post about the VTR. The new box mod coming out from Nokia. Indeed, this one looks interesting. You know, I'm a new convert. I was not overly excited about the box mods. They really didn't do much for me. And uh, oops, got the wrong screen again. There we go. Let's show you this one. I, I wasn't overly excited about that. You sent me an MVP, and I'll tell you what, when I'm out of the house, this thing does not leave my hands. I, I am a new convert. I love this. If the VTR is going to perform as well as this and have your atomizer recessed inside, that is going to be a really great thing. So I'm pretty excited to see. The other thing, the other advantage uh, over the MVP with this is you not only have the variable voltage, you have the variable wattage. So this is a rollout. These will be coming soon. Watch for announcements. As soon as they come available, we will be letting you know. Are you getting any buzzing right now? You're hearing more? No, no buzz right okay. now, Joe. It, it was there for a sec, but uh, now... Okay, you're not fond of the iClear 30. The iClear 30 is pictured on this, but it's not the only thing that'll fit. It's a 510 connection. Now, of course, you know, the iClear 30 is going to fit like it's made like a glove for it. You put uh, something else in there, it'll be a little skinnier, there'll be a little room. But what it means is whatever you do put on there isn't sticking out like this and, you know, uh, subject to getting smacked and something like that. It's protected by the skeletal structure of that mod. And uh, let's see if I can show you the other picture. Um, yeah, I was going to touch on that. Somebody, somebody asked, will it come on an adapter? I'm sure it should, because if that's just a iClear 30 specific mod, that would be kind of stupid. Um, but I kind of like how the iClear 30 is nestled down in there. They're kind of taking a tip from the billet box there. They're kind of yeah. just... Exactly. I mean, leave it to Anokin to... Um, they're really, you know, out of all the Chinese mod makers, you have... Here we go again with the buzzing. What is that? Interesting. You need you need a fly swatter there. Great big digital fly swatter. A grounding issue. Uh yeah, I think it's probably these these either these headphones or uh, the mic. Oh well, no big deal. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I like the billet box. Blah blah blah. Uh, when it comes to Anokin, Anokin seems to be um, on the forefront of really making exotic mods. You know what I mean? <laughs> vape girls it's it's vape girls electric personality right right uh no this this mic did not come from fast Act, sorry <laughs> this mic came from this mic came from uh amazon it's actually a really good mic it's just i use it a lot and john you <laughs> danny now let, let's talk about mvps <laughs> versus poldiac no 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 i do not like the mvp over the poldiac my feeling when it comes to these various mods is there's a time and a place for everything um you know i still use um the occasional ce4 i got those laying around too Fuck yeah but uh, the Poldiac is a beautiful vape for at home. I would not take this out of the house. There would be tears if something happened to this. And, uh, you know, I've got a Pyrex tank on it, and Jenny, and Jenny isn't maybe the best vape for, you know, throwing in your purse and going. The MVP, ideal for that. So there's a time and a place. Right. I carry with me, when I go out, um, I have a shit ton of, of mods. Uh, I carry this when I go out. It's just a twist with a Pro Tank Mini, 
Uh, this twist is from Fast Tech, but I paid twelve dollars for it. Wait, actually, let me turn on the color. I should stay in color for the show. Yeah. Um, this um, this is the green twist from from Fast Tech, and, it, and this is a uh, Pro Tank Mini uh, on top of it. This fucking twist rocks. I mean, this thing is really great for twelve bucks. In fact, dare I say it's better than a Joytech uh, twist. It's, it's just built it seems I have a joy tech with I have two of them and then I have this and this just seems to work so much better I hate taking mods out I hate them except of course the MVP because it's, it's built to go out Yeah, now, I've heard great things about the Vision Spinners, too. Vape and Chevy 83. Uh, you said you got five Eco Twists from Fast Tech on an order. Did you get them already? Oh, he ordered them last night. Oh yeah, uh, right now you're, I'm not hearing us, Tiger. Yeah, I think so. Better? There we go. Better? Okay. Uh, I was playing with switches trying to remove the echo, but the echo may well be uh, on on the um, on the viewers, and if you have the Vapor Joe site open as well, not, yeah, not I'm, too I'm, sure on that. Yeah, if you're watching the show here and then you have Vapor Joe's open. You're going to hear it twice because I'm simulcasting on Vapor Joe's. Okay, so you have a volume setting on that simulcast. They can shut that off and then they're only hearing us once. Right. Yeah. I wish there was an ability for me to not, like, like it auto-broadcasts when you go to Vapor Joe's. I can't not make that happen. I've tried every stupid script thing, that, you know, and it, and it just auto-broadcasts. Yeah, yeah, and uh, TVB NYC, that's absolutely right. Hit the pause button on Vapor Joe's and... You're good. All right. Now, here is a... Um, no, it... Uh, you're a Terminator, Tiger. Mm. That was an interesting acquisition this week. Let me grab that. I've got it on one of the uh, KTSs right now. Let me also pull up the picture of that. The Terminator tank, it is basically a... Uh, I, I, I dubbed it an immortal cartomizer on, uh, on the blog because it, it's... The cartomizer you can just keep rebuilding and use and use and use. You're not uh, replacing all the time. Let's see. Oh, and we got... Let's see what we can do about that. No, that's not the right one either. There we go. That's closer. Um, this arrived and... You know, I read a little bit about it. I read that they were a little bit fiddly to set up. Well, oh, there's that V again. Hmm. I read that they were a little bit fiddly to set up. I, I know where to lie. They are. Not impossible. Don't let that put you off because once it's set up, it's a great vape. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, the, the tricky part I found with this is you have a whole bunch of, you know, normal clockwise threaded stuff that uh, is all in a series and you try to tighten one thing and when you're tightening from the top you're kind of not sure which thing is tightening right so at the very very bottom you've got your 510 thread which is you know clockwise the next thing is your air con your uh, juice flow control which is clockwise then where you rebuild from at the center of that sort of bulb not really the center down lower clockwise threaded so you know, you get it all assembled, and you set the juice flow where you 
think you'll need it, knowing you'll have to adjust it a bit, and then you thread it onto the mod. Now, I made the mistake of tightening from the top. Don't do that, because I closed my juice flow and was getting dry hits. Okay, mistake made. So I tried to loosen it, and guess what? Instead of opening the juice flow, uh, it started to actually open it at the point where you rebuild in the in, on that bulb, and it's like, well, this is not going well. So it took a few tries. I had to fiddle around a little bit. I finally got that tightened up nice and firm so it wouldn't move. Uh, I learned you don't tighten it much on the mod, same as everything else, just till it's making contact is good enough. And then you can, if you get everything right, you can adjust that juice flow just from the top. I'm opening it now and closing it a little bit again. There we go. So, hey, Tiger, I'm going to switch headsets. I'll be right back. Okay? You Sure thing, Joe. You do what you got to do. Um, once you got it set up right, you're off to the races. And, and it is a great vape. Good taste. Now, you know what, Vapor's Break? I feel like a bit of an idiot telling you about this. I'm not sure yet. It is one of the ceramic cut builds, so I suspect you're going to need the no resistance wire in there, but I'm using it the way it came. It comes pre-coiled, and I haven't even tried setting it up again. Um... Heck, Matlock, that is so kind of you. Uh, it's easy to be nice when you got such a nice group of people to hang out with and you're talking about something you're all passionate about. So, you know, there you go. Um, now, Exhale Vapors, there would be a contact on their website. I'm just going to change uh, sets here and let's see what we can find for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. I guess what you're doing is um, s submitting a ticket. Up in the upper right corner, there's submit a ticket. I, I guess that's the way you would contact them. So when you load the main page, the very top right. Fran Vapor has a question. Go for it. Let her fly. OK. Can you hear me? Sure can. OK. And your B is gone. My B is gone. <laughs> What variable voltage has good kick and is about the size of an ego? If you want something the size of an ego, you're looking for right a, a twist. You're looking for exactly what Joe was talking about earlier, an ego twist. You can take that from 3.2 to 4.8 volts, and uh, that's going to be probably the best uh, bang for your buck if you're really desiring something that size. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I can't make it over to the Vaughn chat right now, so what I will do, what I will say is, if your questions appear to be being ignored and the uh, web address at the top of your page is Vaughn, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> if you're watching us, you want to be loaded, uh, have the page loaded, vapestrong.ca. I am going to put right. that in the chat for you right now. Uh, you'll want to log in there because the chat we use isn't the Vaughn chat, so if you want to participate with us, come on over to Vape Strong. It'll ask you to log into Justin TV's chat, and right. then you can uh, you can get in on the conversation. Have okay. either of you tried TWIK Twic? Um, I don't know what that is, so I can safely say no. Over to you, Joe. <laughs> um, no. What was a Twic? I've had a Twix. Yeah, really. I've had a Twix. Yeah, yeah. I highly recommend those. Um, not to vape. Fran Vapor is talking uh, about e-cigarette mate. I'm not sure what you're... Um, somebody wants to know if the ICH hybrids are down on the ground yet. I'm not positive. John, um, the guy who is selling them um, from Vapor Tech, he does updates on his page, on his Facebook page all the time, lets everybody know if there's delays or what have you on, on pre-order. So check his Facebook page out. Just, just look for Vapor Tech USA on Facebook. And we don't have price information on the VTR yet. 
just stay tuned to the blog. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the Twitter feeds for the most up-to-the-minute uh, information about that. We'll if let I you know as soon as we if, know. If I had to guesstimate, I'm going to say $99. They seem to be really pushing their prices up. I'm going to say $99. Bucks. Um, safely $99. I'm okay. sure we'll have a pre-order somewhere for six months. Fran Vapor, if you've got your order confirmation, yeah, it uh, it could take three weeks. It you know it's it's a little bit of a crapshoot. It's hard for us to say exactly how long because, you know, um, some orders from China show up in ten days for Joe, and he's on the opposite side of the continent. I'm on the close side to China, and things take longer to get to me. Depends how long customs wants to sit on it. Depends where in the country you are. There, there's so many factors. Uh, if you've got your order confirmation, though, don't panic yet. All right, Vamo V4. Somebody's saying, "Oh, Vamo V4, Vamo V4." Um, okay. Uh, just before we move on, Joe, Fran Vapor saying tomorrow is three weeks. Uh, I'm I'm gonna guess. Fran, that you paid via PayPal. If you did, you have 45 days protection. If you're getting close to that 45 days, if it's uh, you know pushing you know past 35 and so on and so forth, open a ticket. Uh, the reason is, if you open a ticket past 45 days, they will not protect you. If you open it before, there's always room to resolve it and close the ticket. But at least your pro your purchase is protected. Okay. What did what did Fran buy? Uh, it was. The oh gosh, now I'm getting confused between people's posts. I'm not sure what she got from there. Friend, what did you? Oh, an eye taste. Eye um, taste. Okay. MVP, VV, variable wattage. Which one did you buy? Oh, oh, she's talking about that cigar, uh, cigarette mate place. Um, that wasn't for Vastec, right? No, no. All right, that cig that e-cigarette place. I, I heard a lot of people talking about them, um, saying that they're not answering their emails. Yeah. Are now you? some people were saying stuff had shown up. Some people were still waiting. So, if I were you, I would just submit a ticket right now. Just to be on the safe side, then. Yeah. Just open a dispute now, so it's already it's already in the works and um get that you know ball rolling so if they don't answer you or give you know they have to they have to give you valid tracking information crank up the speakers and pull the knob off now the vamo v4 this is Ardvark rock F the vamo v4 kind of looks like the old vamo um it's got it's the Vamo V3 chip in a Vamo V2 body, and they're calling it the Vamo V4. Um, I'm really not seeing a monstrous, big, huge deal about this. Um, I, I can find. I know somebody who's selling it. Uh, hold on. I think it was AK Vapors. Let me see. Let me just let me find a link on this. I didn't never really put this up because. Um, to me, it wasn't a really big... Yeah, here we go. If you look at this here, Tiger, I'm going to put this in chat. You can bring up a... Uh... Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Looking at it, you're going to be like, they're calling a Vamo V1 a, uh, a Vamo V4. Mm. But here's, here's a link to AK Vapors, their American site. Um, this is simply to show you that the V4 is on the ground in America. Um, but you're going to look at it and go, what, how is that a V4? It looks like a famo. <laughs> you know, there's no real big. I don't see anything huge about it. From what I'm hearing, it's like I said, a V3 chip in a V2 body made a V4. So, okay, you know, let's grab that picture for you guys to see. And yeah, I'm not sure that I would be able to tell the difference just from looking. So is this a case where most of the difference is inside, inside the mod as opposed to outside? Yep, and um, it was so boring I didn't even think about doing a rollout on it. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I mean, what, 
Yeah, it's the V4. What's the difference? I, I, I don't know. It's the V4, though. <laughs> the number. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, so, maybe they're running out of ideas. But, you know, I guess, uh, you know, if, if, if it's as cheap as, as an original Vamo for $29, well, then get the V3, you know, get the V4 to have the V3 chip and the V2 body. I like the V2 body better than the, v, the V3. the v And uh, with, the, with the different markings in it, yeah, that's cool. Thank you, Curly Sask. You're quick with that link. Uh, thanks a lot. Twisted, yep. Check out the the DSV line of juices, the shishas. Yep. Oh, those shishas are great. Oh, Ugh. and you know what else? While we're talking about it, I, I gotta I gotta talk about this because this was such a surprise to me. The red ball flavors uh, in the in the major vapes line. Red uh, ball. No, no, my mistake. Yeah, it's major vapes. Um, well, they're they're based on a Red Bull flavor, but uh, the strawberry oh, red, ball. red ball is. Uh, I don't I don't even like the drinks, and I just. I love that juice. I'm ripping through it like crazy. So yeah, while you're there, do some shopping. So Fast Tech this week uh, released some boring stuff, but boring, necessary things. And one of them were these needle tip bottles. Um, they they introduced five mil, ten mil, thirty mil, fifty mil. Now I don't know about you, but needle tip bottles where I live are a buck a piece. Or um, I mean, even wholesale, they're, they're, you know, you have to buy like a hundred of them to get them at any decent price. Fast Tech released um, the 10, 10 mil uh, blunt tips or the, uh, or, or the five mils or the 30 mils. They were under four bucks for 10. Unbelievable, like super cheap. Um, we posted up numerous different links. I could just say, um, go to Vapor Joe's Canada type, you know, bottles and they'll come up because there's just various different links. But if you need blunt tip bottles to um, to fill your jennies, I mean you're you're. You know, in it's, I mean, it's, it's not just perfect. jennies. It's any atomizers, really. They're great for filling the evods. I use them for that. I I put needle tips on most of my stuff actually. Uh, evods, CE fours, everything, and it's it's just easier. Yeah, uh, Smokey, he's a Cardo user like me. Um. He takes the needle and just shoves it down into the cardo and just squeezes, <laughs> you know. So he, he he uses them all the time, and yeah, they're great for DIY. Uh, mm -hmm. They're great for um, for atomizers too because they don't give huge drops. Yeah. They, you won't flood your attic, and they're great for on the go because it comes with a little a little uh, stopper top, and you can just chuck it in your pocket. You betcha, just like that. Now the on only thing to be cautious about is if you do have uh, pets or kids, you want to keep this well out of their reach because that is not a childproof cap. Yeah. Okay, so that that was kind of neat. I, I found that to be um, a needed and necessary thing. It was about time they had some bottles. I mean, fast tech's always good for batteries and, and, and stuff like that, but people forget simple things like drip tips and bottles and, and even syringes uh, are, are necessary. People want them. Um, so the next order of this, an hour already. Can you believe it, Tiger? An hour has gone. I, I know, I know. This time <laughs> flies on Saturday night. It's such a fun crowd. And, well, hey, we're talking about deals. What could be better? True. Uh, we'll hang out for a little bit. Um... The next one was the Elegant Angel clone. We think. Mm. You seen that one? Oh yeah. Let's uh, let's bring that up. Um, here's the link. Oh wait, no, that's not the link to Elegant Angel clone. That's to <laughs> that's to the old Vamo V4. Hold on, sorry. Uh, here's the Elegant Angel um, link. The original Elegant Angel was 130 bucks. Um, person I knew that had it was selling it was Rhino Sirius. I saw it at Fake Fest. Um, these were, uh, they were nice. I didn't think they were worth 130 bucks, but they came out with a clone. The clone was 40 bucks. 
and people are saying, oh, it looks like the KTS. Um, it kind of does look like the KTS. It kind of looks like a Segelli number 13. It kind of looks like a lot of those mechanicals out there. Um, but they're, they're calling it the Elegant Angel, the EA clone. So um, for 19 bucks, I mean, really? Can you go wrong? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, it could be, be called the, you know, crap mod. I don't care. It's $19. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's a great deal. Uh, somebody wants to know a fast tech coupon code? No. Only for batteries. And yeah. the coupon code for batteries is BLF for 10% yeah. off. And Fran, I hope that works out for you. As I say, I've been hearing about people receiving orders. I've been hearing about some taking a long time. At least you've covered your butt now. So. Right. Yeah, BLF for flashlights and, um, and coupons. And battery-related uh, batteries. Purpose. Yeah. So if you're buying those Panasonics, you get 10% off. So let's go look at Tiger Sight. It's amazing. I still have to go to Vapor Joe's to see the deals. All right. Let's see. She's running the M16 right now. Rick is king. Fast Tech should start selling ohm meter boxes. Uh, one of the good things about that is you have the power to help make that happen. They do have a suggestion area and they do seem to respond. Uh, the whole reason we're able to get those Panasonic batteries I love to talk about and recommend is because uh, some of our own and uh, flashlight enthusiasts requested it. They responded. So if there's something you want, Oh, it's already listed? Great. Well, pile on the plus ones, or however they do things there, because uh, hopefully I would love to see those become more readily available. It seems that wherever they are, they're out of stock, or the shipping is prohibitive, or they, or in our case, they don't ship to Canada at all. Absolutely, no. Napoleon Bonaparte. We do feature some deals from Canadian vendors that are only available in Canada, but the bulk of our deals are available internationally. Right. Uh, you know, our heart is in Canada, Vapor Joe's Canada, but we've got deals for vapors the world over. So do right. follow us as well. Yeah, 90% of Tiger's deals will work anywhere in the world and have free shipping and all that good stuff. You betcha. Now, I'm going to bring up a. Um, a new mod. Uh, it's not well. It's not super new, uh, but it's made by Vapor Moon, and it's a Saber Touch. Now, why am I bringing up a Saber Touch? Well, this is because here's the link to it. Um, me and Smokey approached Vapor Moon to get a um, touch sensing mod under a hundred bucks. Um, this is called the quote unquote Mod NV Saber Touch. Now, this the Saber Touch. This particular one. I don't know, Tiger, if you could get it up on the on screen. I will see what I can do, Joe. Um, have you got a link for me? Or oh, can you tell oh, me where I... it was? I'm sorry. I'm... Did I miss the link? My yes, fault. I did. Yeah, I put... No, no, I'm good. I got it. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome, Tiger. <laughs> now, this particular Saber Touch, what's good about it is that it's got a couple things... Um, built in that most mods don't, and the warranty is terrific. This is an older Sabre Touch. Actually, you know what? I have a Sabre Touch that looks just like that one. Hold on, give me one second. I came oh. ill-prepared. Oh. Well, uh, oops. That's not what we want to do. We don't want to add that. We want to add a screen cap here, and we'll grab that right now. There we go. Sabre Touch. Check it okay. out. Okay, now this particular Saber Touch has, this is the older Saber Touch touch sensor. This little doohickey here. And he's upgraded them to this touch sensor, which looks more like a regular button. Now, all you gotta do is touch them when they fire. Now, the cool thing about the Saber Touches, this particular one in general, the one that's on the screen is inside you'll see a collapsible spring now in the new ones this one doesn't have it there is a vape safe built in to the bottom the bottom cap so there will always be protection a resettable uh, vape, uh, vape safe inside the bottom cap 
Now there's some good questions about the ease of that fire button. Is there a way to lock the fire mechanism? Uh, how is it in your pocket? Are you gonna? Well, to, to fire a to fire a, a saber, you have to touch one the metal. That's why there's rings in the center of this one on the on the screen, and touch the this, the um the button. So if you have it in your pocket, you're you would have to you're, you would have to be so far out to touch your skin here and here. You understand? Okay. It won't so just fire if you if you hold it like this and touch it, it will not fire. You have to be touching the the metal and touching this at the same time. Okay. To complete the circuit. Yeah. No. This is not a this is not a winter mitt glove uh, friendly device. No, it won't work. Uh, the cool thing you can do though is like if you can you can literally hold the bottom of this and then hold hands, 20 or 30 people, and come back and touch this, and it'll fire. <laughs> kind of neat. Um, so this is 100% handmade in the United States. Um, everything in here is sourced American uh, in-house. The only thing that's China-made in this mod is the 510 connector. Everything else is handmade. There's a five-year warranty on this. Okay, so that ninety-five dollar mod is 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 warranted for five years, and at ninety-five dollars, it's also free shipping. Uh, it's a this particular one's a three point seven volt or six volt uh, mod, but you can also get the bigger ones like this one, which is the pimp stick, which is uh, dual eighteen six fifty variable voltage. Uh, no, it is not mechanical. Um, it has a five amp switch. Uh, that's the limit on this mod. Uh, it comes in a bajillion different colors, but um, the reason why I wanted to point this mod out is, like I said, it's under 100 bucks. They were normally going for about 135. We got them down to 95, and that warranty alone for me was just was just killer. Five years, incredible. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to check out Vapor Moon, that's the uh, that's the quote unquote mod MB line. Now, I someone was asking if that is a, a good recommendation for a first-time uh, mod user. What would you say, Joe? Sure. Uh, it's a simple three-point for a new user. It's a simple 3.7-volt device. They don't even have to push a button. It's just like a little touch sensor. Uh, again, it has the vape safe on the bottom now built into the, to the collapsible spring. So even if they did short, it's going to kick off and reset. Um, and, you know, really, there was somebody uh, talking about carpal tunnel syndrome in one of the shows recently, and uh, I'm thinking right away for somebody with arthritis or carpal tunnel or something like that, what could be better? All you have to do is hold it and touch it. There's no actual pressure required to fire. Right. Yeah, exactly. Great for someone with rheumatoid arthritis. So. Now, this one's called penny, penny Vein. I love this finish. Mm, that is a beautiful finish. That's my favorite, I think. Uh, but... He'll even let you go to it's a place called Powder by the Pound, and you can buy the powder coat and send it to him, and he'll powder coat your mod for you any color you want. Um, there's so many options uh, that you can choose, and like I said, there's brass, there's chrome, there's there's tons of different options, tons of different. Uh, you can get it variable voltage, you can get it uh, high powered, um, you can get it uh, like I said, dual 18650. Um, but this particular one, like I said, we got it down under 100 bucks. We're really happy about it. And um, um, not any mod New Jersey Devil, but you can order up your Saber Touch the way you like it. Like and it. yeah, somebody was talking about switching out the caps. When you order a Saber Touch, you go through a series of processes and you hand pick all your pieces, and it's put together. Mm -hmm. It's uh, made your way, kind of like Harvey's. Now this one, the Dual 18650 version. Um, this was invented by me and Smokey because we wanted a big old honking mod. This one, as it sits, is about 140 bucks. But this is a variable voltage, dual 18650 beast. And that is not a drip tip Buster the Real Dog. That is actually, if, if you want the truth, a glorified 510 extension. It is a gooseneck and your atomizer or cartomizer goes on the end. Yeah, that's a gooseneck. These cost about 20 bucks. And then I put the cardo on with the really long drip tip, and then that just goes on here. I know it's kind of wonky and funny, but I love it. I brought, I brought, I brought, I, I really, I think I brought the gooseneck back because the gooseneck has been around 
for three or four years, and nobody was talking about them. And then all of a sudden, I popped another pimp stick, and now everybody's buying up goosenecks. <laughs> <laughs> But do you have a link handy for those, Joe? Um, there is another site other than TTT selling them. Neck uh, extender mod. Uh, here we go. Here's the other place that sells them. I found the secret spot. So don't tell me. Don't you know? You guys can kiss me later. Um, this is the super hidden secret spot to buy goosenecks that nobody knows about don't pass it around <laughs> same price um you can't handle it. um it's uh they're 20 bucks there just hands like ttt so have at it oh. <sighs> the great re pipes too fran wants a hat we're listening fran stay tuned yeah, Tiger has something in the works. She's Tiger's one of the most uh, in, what's the word I'm looking for? Inventive <laughs> females that I know. Um, this is half the reason why I picked her for Vapor Joe's Canada. Um, and uh, she always pulls these things out of her butt, and they're good. And that sounds really bad, but <laughs> really. <laughs> Now, but, Fungal Panic um, talked about it would be cool if somebody made a bendable drip tip. In effect, they kind of have. Um, you can get, if you're familiar, where, 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 where are you? Um, iClear30 has that swivel tip. Mm -hmm. You can get those tips, not just on iClear30. You can get those on a 510, and they'll fit anything that takes a 510. So it's not quite the same thing, but you do get that option of, you know, not having to mm -hmm. tip to not get it where you want it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and don't forget the goosenecks, they, they turn. I mean, you can... <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, if you're lazy... And it's... You can vape standing on your head. Oh, so, um... Forgot to tell everybody, I got myself a Ricardo Mon, um, box mod. Uh, these are very cool. I don't have freaking batteries for it yet, though. I'm looking for my, I'm waiting for my IMRs to come in. But uh, very, very nice. Uh, wasn't expensive at all. Um, the electronics inside are clean. Here are my electronics. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by the work. It's Those metal. Are... Sorry, Jeff. It's a metal case, not plastic. And everybody's like, where? Well, there you go. So they're there in CEB go. store. Now, what do these yeah. cost, Tiger? I forget what's up my head. Oh, Joe, I'm so terrible remembering perfect details. They're in the neighborhood, neighborhood of 50 bucks. Let me, let me, let me check that for you so I can, I can be uh, a little more specific about that. We're going to talk to Savvy about making a done deal, special done deal coupon for us. Uh-huh. Okay, regular price on those is fifty-five ninety-five. You want to uh, check it out though, because right now he's got a sale price of forty-nine ninety-five, and it gets better. Use coupon code C E V. I'll put that in the uh, chat. Coupon oh, coupon yes, code C E V. Oh, good. Twisted is already on it. You'll get an additional ten percent off the sale price of forty-nine ninety-five. So That's now, they're they're they've still got the red like mine in stock. Uh, I'm just looking right now. The silver one that Joe was showing is out of stock. Uh, they also have a blue one in stock right now. So hurry, hurry, be quick because uh, Ricardo Mon makes them as fast as he can. But uh, oh, there we go. Fran Vapor has put all the information in the room. Oh, be patient, Fran. Ricardo Mon's probably building more as we speak. They're, they're very good. And they're gone. Somebody just wrote, and they're gone. So I, somebody, I guess they're buying them up. So 160 people in the room at 2 a.m. on the East Coast. 
They love deals and they love Incredible. vaping, Joe. Incredible. I'm, I'm, I'm blown say? away. To get anybody to do anything on the East Coast at 2 a.m. is like pulling teeth. Yeah, you guys rock. Um, yeah. So let's let's define one more deal and we'll call it a night. What do you say? I think that sounds good. And the show at the bottom of the hour. Well, let's see. I'm going to find something. A lot of us, oh. you know, we should talk of, we should, you know, we should talk about how we find our deals and how long it takes to do it. Okay, you start. You've been doing this longer than me. You're the pro. Now, everybody thinks this is an easy thing to do. It's not. It's very difficult. Um, when I first started Vapor Joe's, I took 12 hours a day to, to find, to find deals. I had nothing, no support system like I do now. I don't have a Facebook group that people post deals in that once in a while I could cherry pick from or vendors contacting me with deals and, uh, you know, viewers. Oh, my God, the viewers themselves, the readers, they're always emailing me, Joe, check it out, Joe, check it out. And something big hits, I know about it within three minutes because there's 14 people who have just emailed me, Facebooked me, Twittered <laughs> me. Um, Joe. i got, like, this little army of frugal minions out there just... just and we love you all. And uh, so, but Tiger had to go through what I went through when I first started because she was dealing with Canada. Yeah. And to, you know, and you have to dig deep and Google and, and it's, it's a very, it's not easy. And, you know, it was a little bit of a natural transition because that's the way I started vaping. I started on a strict budget. I'm still on a pretty strict budget, and I need to stretch my vape dollar as far as it will go. So when I started, I was hunting all over to find what I needed and to save a buck here and there. So, you know, to, to now translate that into Vapor Joe's Canada was a really natural transition. So... It's, it's a lot of fun, it takes time, and it's so worth it, and it makes it even more worth it when instead of just looking for me, I'm helping a lot of people save time and money, and that is, that is the best. And it's funny, too, when, you, um, when something new hits somewhere, or Fast Tech gets a new mod that was once 30, and now Fast Tech has it for like 10 bucks, and I'm like, hey, Tiger. Did you see what we just popped on? And she'll be like, oh, my God. And she'll, like, run. And she'll start doing the write-up real fast. It's like it's like Christmas for her. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I get pretty excited. <laughs> the papers are going to love this. Oh, I've done that, especially uh, when, when I used to do product rollouts. I, do, I try to do them as much as possible, but there's so many new mods coming out that it's almost impossible to do rollouts anymore because there's a new mod every day. Um... But back, like, say, like seven, eight months ago, when new mod, when a new mod rollout would come out, and I'd be the only one who knew, and, and a vendor would hush hush and, and be in a secret room somewhere, showing me graphics, and nobody else can see them. Um, and then I would roll it out. It was just a really great feeling. It was like I was um, unveiling secret government documents. <laughs> yeah, you know. Somebody's saying the 134 is crying for help. Um, the 134 uh, at $99 is a good deal. If nobody's seen this thing yet, it weighs about almost a, was it three quarters of a pound? It's huge. It's a big mod. Uh, vendor cost on a 134 is almost 70 bucks. So if Fast Tech has it, it's not going to be any more than it's going to be like $75. It's not going to be a cheap, um, a cheap mod. Unless somehow they can get it under that price. I don't see it, but. Drummer boy, you're most welcome. Like I say, it's something I was kind of doing anyway. So now if it benefits more people than just me, bonus. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, this didn't. Yeah, it does work for you. Let's see if this is still working. Um, here's a simple one. It's free. Uh, we didn't bring this up yet. I want to see if it's still here. Uh, I think yeah, here I we go. know what you're up to. So. Yes. Here's a good one for the masses. If you haven't done this already, you may be able to take advantage of it again. Enjoy. 
Enjoy Kings. There's a link. Get yourself a free disposable Enjoy. Um, if you haven't done it yet, um, the free there is free shipping to Canada too, I believe. Um, or maybe it's a dollar or something. You must, must, when you place your order, you, your shipping address and your and your birth and your birthday must be real, or they will error you out. If you're putting in a fake birthday, a fake address, or your, 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 an old address, or a, it will or a fake last name, they're using a some kind of system that knows when you're lying. So when you do it. Do um, use real info, and um, he's saying he used all new real info. It still happens to people, but I got mine. Tiger still couldn't get hers. No. Um, I have to phone them this week and see if uh, see if we can figure that out. But if you haven't tried it, just try it. See if you get it. I like my Enjoy. Uh, I was on the road with my uh, business partner. My battery died. Her battery died. All we had was this stupid Enjoy King in the glove compartment. I'm like, well, this is all we got. And I'm certainly not spending 10 bucks at 7-Eleven for a disposable. So we pulled it out of the glove compartment, and it's the most realistic cigarette you'll smoke. That is like, um, um, it, ta- it, it, it feels like a cigarette. It's, the filter is mushy like a cigarette. It's it's really really good. So if you can get if you can get one for free, try it. Now the milligrams on these are very high, uh, forty five milligram, thirty milligram. Uh, people are going to say, oh, that's too high. Just think of the delivery system. However, the, the the delivery system is not great. So the 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 vapor like if you're vaping a forty five milligram in this, you're really only going to absorb about eighteen because the delivery system sucks. You're getting a much smaller puff than you're accustomed to on some of the great stuff we use. And, you know, let's be fair about why we're recommending this and recommending that you try so that you know what to recommend to smokers that want to try. We have a reviewer here in Canada by the name of Evil Woman out on the East uh, Coast, and she recommends these. She stocks up on them to give to, you know, new prospective vapors so that they can get you know, a little taste, so to speak, of what vaping's all about. This isn't something you want to stay using. We're not no. recommending it for that. This is a first step into vaping. But, you know, for us, it's nice to try so that we know what we're recommending to people. You don't, you don't want and to put free. something in their hands that sucks, right? And it's free. And let's not forget, it's 100% free. They even pay the shipping. Mm-hmm. Um, so freebies are always good. I don't care if it was, you know free it was called a crap sig i'd still take it if it was free i mean that's just it's it's free and nothing's and, cheaper than free so i'm vaping chevy that's exactly right either as a first step or a last resort backup just like joe's story having one handy you know yep so it's, i took it's, it's i was able i had about a half hour before i got home i needed to vape um uh, was able that got me got me through for half an hour and it was and it was surprisingly good for something i thought was going to completely suck mm-hmm. And uh, I was pretty, I was mildly impressed that, yeah, I, hey, I'm an 18 milligram va- uh, vapor. I vape on big honking mods, and this little five, whatever you want to call it, this little sigle like, got me through. Mm-hmm. So, I, like I said, order it, throw it in your golf compartment, forget about it. And uh, one day you're gonna be like, oh, I forgot my, you know, forgot my mod or whatever. Ah, oh, I got my enjoy. But we don't. I don't suggest buying anything from the website. Uh, they're very expensive. But like I said, they're free. So just take advantage of it. And here we are, eleven twenty-six Pacific. That's two twenty-six Eastern. It's about that time. It's getting close to that time. Oh, good! Somebody just said they ordered one. Fantastic. Nice. Free is good. Uh, there's a coupon code there's a on the coupon page. Coupon code right on that page, and you just enter that uh, when you're uh, finishing up the order. It's like Tri King or something like that. Tri King, yeah, there you go, Tri King. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for another. Uh, thanks for watching another edition of Done Deal. Um, oh, let me give them our Facebook group. Uh, we have a Facebook group.
we post our replays in I'll there. Do it, Joe. Um, I've got them all automated. I will uh, oh, share both yours and mine. This is the Vapor Joe's, the original Facebook deal, uh, uh, group rather, deal, whatever it is. And uh, here is our Vapor Joe's Canada Facebook. And uh, just for those of you who are using Twitter, I'll share those as well. You can subscribe to tweets, get up to the minute information. That's for Vapor Joe's Canada. And we also have, oh, and I'm lying. That one is uh, mislabeled. That one is the American one. I apparently have to fix some of my some of my automated stuff, and there's the Canadian Twitter. Uh, and let's not forget the Done Deal group. Done Deal. Oh, and you've already got it in there. Excellent. So you can talk about the show and catch the replays if you missed something you want to catch. Thank you, Vaping Cowboy. We didn't share vape can photos on this show. We were talking about vape can on the uh, show prior to Done Deal. But if you're interested in vape can information, I would encourage you to join the Vape Strong group. And I'll give you the link for that as well. Here's the Facebook group for Vape Strong, the network we broadcast on. And we'll be sharing a replay of the show as soon as I can get things processed and, and happening. So watch for information. Just draw all the groups. Just draw in every vaping group. Up yeah, absolutely. Let's just, let's just end with a big pile of links. <laughs> Go crazy, people. Uh, where did you buy your pip thing on your mod? What pip thing? Joe, where did... I was going to ask earlier, where did you buy the pip thing on your mod? What Are you thing? talking about that long... The gooseneck? Yeah. Oh, the gooseneck. We we uh, I did put a link in there, didn't I, for the gooseneck? I think you did. There. Oh, Buster's got it. Thank you, Buster. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming by, and um, we will see you next week. Uh, the deals will be rolling all week. All kinds of good stuff. We'll look for me and Tiger. Doing yeah, it again absolutely. all week. Thanks so much for joining us. This, this show is so much fun, uh, 90 minutes, and it goes by like that. Yep, real so. fun. So vape on, vape strong. We'll see you next week. Tune in for the deals. <laughs> Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Good night. Bye.